Alright, in this video I'm going to go over the internal linking structure of a website. Um, the internal link structure of a website is, a, is very important, um, especially with larger websites. A smaller web website like the one you're looking at here, it isn't extremely important, um, but it's important with every website, and the larger the website is, the more pages it has, the more important it is. Um, so in this short video, I'm just going to go over um, exactly why it's important and how you can improve your internal link structure. So first off, it, it's important because mainly, primarily for search engine optimization purposes, um, and there are two reasons in, in regards to SEO why it is important. Number one, if all of your pay or if you have you know any number of pages that are you know four, five, six, you know however many clicks from the home page, um, the less authority they're going to get because typically. Um, just about any website on the internet has the most authority from the home page. The home page is what gets most of the, the backlinks pointing to it. So, you know, with that being said, the home page typically has more authority than any other page on the website. Well, the, what the pages, the other pages on the website, they're going to naturally get some of that authority from the home page. For one reason, um, they're a part of the website, so obviously they're going to share some of that authority, but they get that authority from links um, on the home page. So the home page links out to you know, maybe categories or it may be directly to the pages on the website. Um, so basically the closer, the, the fewer number of clicks it takes to get from the home page to any particular page on the website, the more authority it's going to get because it's closer to the website. So if you have a page that is one click from the home page, that's going to get more authority than a page that is, you know, three or four clicks or more from the home page because it's that many pages deep. So the home page is going to, um, I guess you could say, leak a certain amount of authority into that page that it's linking to, and then that page is going to link uh, to leak a little bit of authority to the page that it's linking to, and so on and so forth. So. The, the deeper down it goes, the less authority is leaked because the less, you know, each page down is going to have a little less authority because it's not linked to as much. Um, it doesn't get as much of the authority from the home page. So that's one reason um, and a very good reason alone to um, improve your internal link structure. But a second reason is if it's too deep um, and, and too far away from the home page with no other backlinks, it's not going to get indexed, period, because the search engines won't even find it. So it's very important, like I said, especially if you have a large website with a lot of pages. So how do you improve your internal link structure? Well, <clears throat> there are a few different ways. Um, you know, I could sit here and list probably 20 or 30 different ways, um, but I'll just kind of go over a, a few simple things that I do with all of my websites that really help. And like I said before, this is a small website. This is a little niche website that I put up not long ago for a case study. Um, it only has, what, one, two, three, four, five articles. Um, so it's, it's, you know, it's obviously a small website, and I don't even really need to concentrate on the internal link structure unless I add more content, which, you know, I eventually will. So it's always good to get it started. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have no content that is any more than two or three clicks from the home page. Two, one or two click from the home page is optimal. That's what you want to shoot for. Um, but obviously, you know, the more content you get, the harder it's going to be to make that content available within it, you know, one or two clicks from the home page. So sometimes you're going to be forced to, you know, make it three or even four clicks from the home page. But there's a few other things you can do as well. So first off, uh, you know, if you can get your direct links from the home page, but you don't want, you know, a thousand different links. So if you know if you have that many pages, you're not going to be able to. If it's a small site, then you can. So if it's a small site, you can go ahead and put your recent posts right there in the sidebar or wherever. Um, and th those are one click, so they're going to get that good authority. Um, also, the categories, if you have categories, make sure you get each one of your categories listed on the home page because that's a good, um, uh, you know, just a good way to get to all of your content because all of your content um, hopefully is categorized. So, yeah, it's three clicks from the home page because first you have to click the category, that's one click and then you have to click the article, well it's two clicks, um, but if you have a lot of articles under each category it may be three or even four clicks depending on how many there are. If you have a bunch of them you're gonna have to click another button to get to the next page, okay? But that's another thing, so you basically you want to provide as many um, I guess you could say doorways into 
you know all of your content so you want to provide as many paths to your content as possible from your home page um, you know you know one path doesn't have to be the ultimate path um, because it's really going to be, uh, depend on your website how much content you have how it's structured etc um, as to you know whether you can do that or not um, so the recent posts for a small site categories for any website and then also related post is one big thing this thing really 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 helps um, and I of course picked a bad site for that so let me get another site and show you okay so this is one of my larger websites this isn't this is more of an authority site of mine um, but as you can see right here other related articles and if you use WordPress there are a lot of different related posts um, plugins that you can use they're they work right out of the box most of them you just install them activate them and they're good um, some of them require some settings but um, it really doesn't matter which one you get as long as they insert just random related articles in the post so what this does is you know every one of the articles that it finds it's going to find related articles and insert them in there dynamically so it really opens up the pathways to all of your content I mean this right here this is huge for the internal link structure of a website no matter how large or small your website is if you get this added and you know obviously that the website I was just showing you I don't have it added yet because it's small but once I start adding more content I'll definitely get this added um, but adding related articles um, related posts is a huge huge benefit to the internal link structure and the overall authority of your website just adding this one plugin um, can really increase the authority of your your all of your pages on your website just because it it multiplies the number of backlinks to each one of them and which you know also helps get more authority flowing into each one of your pages and it really evens it out and helps so you don't have any bottlenecks as far as the search engine spiders etc um, so those are a couple things there's a lot of the other different you know types of things you can do another thing is uh, most popular posts you can put that in a sidebar um, a lot of people use that with WordPress blogs as well. Um, just any anything to get more links to your internal pages. So, um, like I said, the two main things are just to get category. You know, make sure you have category links in the sidebar. Make sure you get as many links as you can without it being distracting to the user and you know and not useful. And then get a related post um, plugin in there, and in just any other way you can possibly think of to get more links. All you know, whenever you're writing your content. As you can see right here, I have links to a bunch of internal pages. These all, or most of these, go to other pages on my website. So I have a Germany currency page, dangers and cautions page, getting around in Germany. You know, all these are uh, pages on my website. So you want to do as much internal linking as possible. And not only is it a benefit for the search engines, it's a user benefit. You know, it helps your users find more pages on your website. Um, especially when it's in context, you know, you're you're actually talking about it, and you act and you give them a pathway to get to it. Well, you're also giving the search engines a pathway to get to it, and it's also leaking a little more authority to that page. So, um, basically, you know, what it all comes down to is just getting as many links as possible without it being, you know, saturated full of links. Think of the user. Um, that's what Google's always saying, and you know, it is true. Um, although they're obviously a little biased with that, but you know it is true. It's all about the user. You know that's the whole purpose of search engines, the whole value of them. You know if the user wasn't happy, they wouldn't be there. You wouldn't get any traffic from it. So you want to make the user happy. So don't you know overdo it. But you know you can have quite a few links and still be valuable to the user. You know this is a good article, but I still have a bunch of links. That's it. Actually makes it more more valuable. You know and more helpful. So. Get links to your internal pages wherever you can. Get a related post plugin installed. Get your categories linked to in the sidebar. Um, if it makes sense, put you know recent posts in the sidebar. Just get as many links as possible to really even it out. If you don't do that, you can really have some major problems in the search engines and you know user issues. If people can't find your content, that's not good. So, I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks.